Hello everyone, welcome to Friday. Today, Linda and I are going to talk about embroidery software. So Linda's got all the knowledge and all the, all the good stuff that you need to know. And um, we're going to turn it over to Linda. Thanks, Linda. So Anne had asked me to do a comparison of the embroidery software that we sell here at my sewing room. Um, some of the people might know that I'm also the teacher for the V8 software that Bernina produces, even though I'm the brother educator here, but I speak both languages. There you go. Okay. So the first thing I want to talk about is what you want to do with your embroidery software. So I've actually gone through a couple of procedures here we're gonna talk about what you want to do and what software works best. So the first question I get asked a lot is they wanna add lettering to a design. Quilt labels, they wanna put the grandkids name on it. So here are kind of your steps that you wanna do. You typically start with a design. Pez is for brother, EXP is Bernina. Then you're gonna use design software and I've given examples of four different types here. We have the BES 4, which is Brother, the PE Design 11, which is Brother, the Bernina Toolbox, and the Bernina V8. So all four of those software programs will allow you to do lettering. You would open the file, you can add the lettering monogram, including resizing, rotating your lettering that you've add. You always define the stitches and define the density then you would export the design. So I'm just kind of giving procedures on how to do that. And in my embroidery classes for the Brother Advance and for the VA, we go through all these steps. So let's go to the next type of thing that people love to do. And that's digitizing a photo. This is probably number one that I get asked in the Brother Advance classes. They have a photo of their grandchild or of their favorite pet and they want to digitize that. So the number one thing you need is a really good quality of photo. Shouldn't be dark because then it'll just digitize black. Okay. So you need to scan in your JPEG. Um, most of our photos now are digitized and they should be in a JPEG format. Then you're just going to use the software. Now there are three types of software that you can digitize a photo with. That is PE Design 2, PE Design 11, so those are both brother, and V8 by Bernina. You open up the JPEG file, it, they have photo digitizing, you click on that icon, then you typically need to clean up the digitizing because it may add some shadows. And it never digitizes cleanly. You always have that opportunity to be creative, I call. You're gonna change the size, the density, and underlay stitching. So if you've been in any of my brother classes, we talk a lot about underlay stitching for embroidery. That's the foundation where your embroidery stitches stand, sit on top. Then you export the file and transfer it to your USB drive. Yeah. So the next one <clears throat> is we want to modify an existing design. Now keep in mind, some of the designs that you purchase, say it could be an OESD or Kimberbell, and I love Kimberbell. I am in the Love Notes, it's awesome. And uh, their designs are locked down. You cannot change most of it other than the size. You can make it slightly larger, slightly smaller, but it is their design. It's their, uh, we call it intellectual property, and you just can't go changing it. But you can always do those things like resize and rotate. So you're going to start with the design you want. Now <clears throat> we have the four pieces of software that will work. The BES 4, the PE Design 2, PE Design 11, and the Bernina, well, it's five, Bernina Toolbox and the VA. So you open the file, you're going to modify it, define the stitches, to find the density of your stitches, because you know if you have a really thin density, you'll have the fabric showing through, and your underlay. Then you export the file. Most people want to change the size of the design and then add lettering to it. That's typically what they want to do. So that goes back to the first steps I showed you, where you're just adding, adding lettering. Yeah. 
So this is what we teach in the advanced brother classes. You see an image you want to embroider. So you're on the internet, you're surfing around, you see something really cool on Pinterest. I want to digitize that flower. How do you do that? Now, because it's an electronic design, you can actually save that to your computer and it would possibly, possibly be a JPEG, a BMP or a PNG file. And then I go through what all those file types mean. You bring it into your software, you digitize it. Now this will be the PE11 software or the V8 software. So now we're getting to the more advanced embroidery software. Okay. Define stitches, including the underlay, size, density. Well, the underlay there twice. Obviously must be very important, right? And with some of the software, especially the V8 by Bernina, you can actually designate the order in which it should stitch out. So when you look at embroidery, you typically have your basting stitches, then your foundational underlay, and then you have your top ones. You can actually designate, oh, I want to do all my green colors first, assuming that those are the ones that go first and then you can do all your blues and you can do all your yellows so um the v8 software is really really strong doing that and then you would export the design so now for the super creative and people who can draw that is not gwen or i can i say that absolutely you <laughs> okay can. yeah i can't <laughs> i can't even draw stick people so anyways <laughs> So you want to start with a drawing program. So PE Design 11, V8. Now V8 software by Bernina includes the entire Corral suite of drawing products and uh, ArtLink 8. So when you think about embroidery files, when say Kimberbell Designs creates a design, they always start with an art file. Makes sense because that's what the name of it is, art file. It is your artwork and then they digitize that artwork. So we have the three programs here that'll actually create your artwork. And we call it vector drawing. So you're using a tablet, um, a drawing pad, like an electronic drawing pad that you'll draw it on there and it saves as a .art file. Once you've got a .art file, then you can bring it into your PE Design 11 or the V8 and then you can digitize it. So for people who are creative, they can really explore their uh, wilds of their mind. Um, my last class teaching the V8 software, we had a number of people who were doing embroidery as a business. People would bring in ideas for a sketch, say a logo. These wonderful, uh, wonderful students would actually draw a logo and then they could digitize it. So if you're looking to do something like that, then you will want something that has an art program with it. So of course, once you've brought it in there, you want to define, <clears throat> excuse me, the size, density, the underlay, again, order of stitching, and then you export the file. So those are kind of, I think those are five different types of, I call them procedures or tasks you can do with embroidery software. So I'm next going to do is compare the Brothers software line. So for all of Brothers software, it all works under on a Windows-based laptop, uh, standalone computer. Um, I've had a number of students come with iPads. It's not going to work on an iPad. Um, Brother does not work on a Mac. That's an iOS operating system. You need to have a Windows computer. Um, this computer I'm using right now is for my teaching, for all my embroidery stuff. I don't even let my husband touch it. Nobody else is allowed to touch it. Almost all embroidery software can be used by any embroidery machine. You just, when you go to export the file to transfer it to your machine, you save it as that file extension. So Husqvarna is .hus. Um, I really only know Bernina and Brother. Uh, I think, oh, um, Janome is .jef. So it's just how you save the file. Keep in mind, if you're using bro a brother, any of the Brother software, you have to have a Windows laptop. <clears throat> Primary use, let's look at the PE Design 2. And we have a copy of it here. So PE Design 2 <clears throat> does basic designs, including edit. 
I've included photo conversion as a column on here because, like I said, that's number one that students ask. Oh, I have a really cute picture of my dog, of my cat, my grandkids. They always want to digitize. So PE Design 2 will do it. It has 35 fonts in it. So you can do some nice lettering, put your grandkids' name on it. You can do applique on that, monogram monogramming. So of course, if you have lettering, you have monogramming because monogramming is only three letters as opposed to a full name. It includes 287 designs are included in them. And the one nice thing about Brother Software it will create the .svg files, is, and that's what the Scan and Cut uses. So that would be for your applique. Let's talk about the second one, the BES4. So the BES4 software does lettering and monogramming. So obviously it does not do any photo conversion because it's solely doing lettering and monogramming. It has 199 fonts. I didn't even know there were 199 fonts. So you can be very creative with your names, letters. <laughs> it does applique, obviously with letters, monogramming, and there's 840 plus designs in it. And again, you have the scan and, scot, scan and cut SVG files. Okay, so let's talk about the PE Design 11, which actually came with the Luminaire, which is lovely software. PE Design 11 does everything in the embroidery world. It creates designs, it edits, it does applique, does lettering, monogramming. It does everything but clean your kitchen. Right? Obviously, it does photo conversion. It has 130 fonts, so which is less than the BES4. It does applique, it does monogramming. There's over a thousand plus designs. And of course it creates the scan and cut uh, SVG files. So now we've talked about Brother, let's talk about Bernina. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is the Bernina toolbox. It has four different modules. Now the toolbox will actually work on a Mac, um, a Mac uh, laptop or a Mac computer. Um, so the first one is editing. Obviously, it allows you to edit, modify, mirror, or duplicate designs. So it's very basic. Most of us can probably do some of this on our sewing machines or embroidery machines. Um, this is if you want to do a little extra. <clears throat> Obviously, you're not adding any type of lettering. There's no photo conversion. There's no fonts. Um, and it comes with a hundred designs. So the next module is lettering. Primary use is lettering, obviously. It has a hundred fonts and it comes with over 200 designs included in it. The next module is letter basic. So you're doing monograms, you just want, you don't need a bunch of fonts and the fonts are the style of printing. I probably should have said that before. Um, and it only has 20 fonts, which is probably more than enough for most of us. And you get a hundred designs with it. Now, the monogramming module under the Bernina toolbox, obviously monogramming is your three. You take the basic embroidery classes with me. We go over what are the, uh, how monograms are done, uh, which one is higher, which one's lower, because there are, there are certain etiquette rules for monograms. Absolutely. And uh, so that's what that one does. There's only 15 fonts in it. And when it comes to monogramming, obviously that's what it does and you have a hundred designs in it. <clears throat> okay, I'm just gonna scoot down to the Artlink 8 here. So I remember I was talking about that when you create a, a design, you start with an art file, a .art. Bernina actually creates software called Artlink 8 that allows you to create a .art file. And some people will actually create theirs and they'll send it off to somebody to be digitized. Um, some people, third party companies may have professional embroidery software. Um, the PE Design 11 is professional software, but you kind of have to do it every day. And the V8 by Bernina is professional software. So most of these people who do it for a living will have this, they'll get the art file from you and then they can digitize it for you. So that's what the art link does. Let's talk about the V8. 
So the V8, as I already said, includes the entire Corel suite of products. Um, that's Corel Draw, Corel Graphics, uh, there's Corel Clipboard, there's Corel... And Corel has a ton of clip art with it. And if you're not familiar with what clip art is, there are images on the, uh, that you can use off the internet. So say you're doing something for a wedding shower and you want to have images of little brides and little grooms that you may want embroidery on napkins for the lunch for the wedding shower. You can go to the clip arts, download those and digitize them, stitch them out. You can put them on towels. If you have guests coming, you can monogram. I mean, you can do whatever your imagination is limiting you to, right? Um, creates the designs that auto digitize. And so that's the one thing the V8 has is an auto digitizer. It has a, a standard photo digitizer but it can actually auto digitize it. So the brains that are involved in the V8 software is really exceptional because it'll actually take a very poor photograph and digitize it very well. So you only have to do a little bit of tweaking just to maybe get rid of something in the background. Um, it also does couching the software, which is absolutely amazing. Now we've seen Anne do some couching examples on these Facebook Live wonderful cut work. Now cut work, if anybody's done hand work, is equivalent to hardanger. I can do hardanger by hand, right? When you're cutting out the threads, but you got to wrap them around so they don't unravel. This software lets you do cut work designs. It is amazing. And the stitch player is really cool because you just press the stitch player and it'll actually show you how it stitches out online on the screen. So you can say, oh, I don't like that, or I want to do all my greens together. I want to do that. So it's exceptionally powerful. So going across, obviously, it does photo conversion. It has 99 fonts in it. It does applique, monogramming, and there's 596 designs included in it. So that's a comparison of the software that we offer here. Hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. Uh, thanks for joining us. We really enjoyed spending the time with you guys. Hope you have a great weekend and we'll look forward to seeing you next week. Stay safe. You bet. Stay safe. Take care. Bye. Bye.